happy Friday, everybody. St. Patrick's Day was yesterday. Um, my name is Billy. I'm the uh, Crafty Floridian. To some of you that don't know who I am, my name is, I told you what my name was, Billy. Sometimes I even forget. But anyway, I um, I didn't realize it was, is today, today is Friday, right? I think it is. But anyway, so if it's Friday, I wanted to do a video today and um, get you all updated to what's going on, if there is anything going on worth talking about. Um, first of all, I wanted to say, let's get some business out of the way. First of all, I um, sent three boxes of baby and toddler um, items to Pine Ridge Reservation, and it was to the Lakota tribe in South Dakota. And I sent Chris a list and she sent me a me message back and went, OMG. She was just so happy and they really appreciate everything that we do. And then on the site, I saw um, they go with what they need so much. They really need so much. So I'm going to get some things together of my own that I was going to get rid of that I will send to them and they can distribute them however they like. So anyway, so um, I want to thank, uh, I had some, um, some very kind donations uh, for the shipping and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. You know who you are and it's greatly appreciated um, because the total was almost $200. Uh, to ship those three boxes, but they were full and they had beautiful items in it from all of the crochet sisters out there and that was you and you and you and you and um, They were just beautiful and I just it's just marvelous And I want to thank you for sending them to me first so that I can show others um, your beautiful work and also it gives um, some of our crochet sisters um, great ideas on, on things that they would like to make and um, it's, it's just greatly appreciated but you can send it directly to the reservation and there's two of them, Dakotas and the uh, Lakotas and the Navajo and the addresses are below in the description if you want to send them directly to the reservation or you can send them to me and I'll put them with a whole bunch of other stuff and <clears throat> send it on. I did find um, in my closet some uh, some flannel stuff that I might make some more uh, receiving blankets out of. So they, yeah, and I think I could make quite a few, you know, with both sides and everything. So I might be doing that. Um... So I thanked everybody. Everything went out this morning. It went this morning, not yesterday. It went this morning. That's right. Because I had to take my wheelie, put everything in my wheelie and wheel it down the hall. And I think the, probably the mailman had a heart attack <laughs> when he saw what he had to put in his truck. But that's what they're for. And, and they earn their money. I miss John so much. John, if you ever watch this, I miss you so much. Ah, I do. I miss talking to you and fooling around with you and uh, laughing with you. So we do miss you. All of us miss you, in fact. The whole building. Um, what else? Oh, also, um, I'm, I'm caught up on my comments. I'm trying to be very good by reading everything that y'all sent. And I got a lot of comments um asking me about um, that they watched Deb on the Canadian Crotcheter. And when she put the sweater on, Billy's sweater, um, I got a lot of comments asking me for the pattern or where, the, where I got the pattern. The pattern was makeanddocrew.com and um, it's the date of uh, the day date cardigan. And it's the hexagon and it's a little bit different from the brunch cardigan, but there's the brunch cardigan and there's the day date cardigan. And that's the one I made her was the day date one. 
I remember because that's the only one I made. The only one like that that I made. And I used, um, the yarn was like a mustard color, yet mustard yellow color that um, I knew is her, was her favorite at that time. <laughs> She's probably changed her colors now to red or something. But, um, and I had a whole bunch of that and I made that for her out of that. I wanted to make something that, was, and I did it in small. And I did change the sleeves um, so that they were more tight fitted around because that she likes stuff that's tight fitted around her wrist. So I did, I did change that and I did put pockets on it. I think I did put two pockets on it. So that's where I got it. Make and do, make and do crew.com. And they have some real, and it's an easy pattern. But I did have someone said that they started making it and they kept, they had, they even sent me pictures of them having to frog it because it's a mistake that, um, that can be made. And even Cheryl made it. I remember when Cheryl made it too. You got to have six. It's like a hexagon and she had done it in five. So you can miss it, but you got to be careful. You got to make it like a six sided. So anyway, that's that's the update on that and it was it was so enjoyable to make it for her and um of course i love her to death so um anyway so that's that's where that pattern came from or that's where you could find that pattern if you'd like to um to do that okay okay some more business okay so if you want to send something all the addresses for the pine ridge reservations are in the description below and um, the other thing is, um, due to the increase in shipping, uh, my damn it dolls are going to go up to $20 each instead of $15. Reason being, I, I didn't realize um, the way I have to package them and the price of, of mailing them can be anywhere between 4 to $7. So when I charge 15, then it doesn't basically even cover my supplies. So it's going to be each damn it doll from this day forward. Not the ones I have orders for now. They stay at the other price. But anything that is sold from this day on is going to be $20. And that's going to include the shipping. There. So I got that out of the way. Um, let's see. What else? Oh. I wanted to show, and I'm only going to show one. I made Laura, Mad Mimi, a whole stack of Durex. And I'm going to show you one because, um, because someone said that they wanted to see what a Durex. Now, this is a Durex. This I made for Laura, and it's the Lucky Lady. And she's on the back. Look at her right here. Here she is here. Her stock is showing. But this is a do-rag. And it goes on like this. You tie it behind you. Now, I tie it. Most of the bikers and stuff tie it with the tie behind, you know, on top. And um, our friend Laura, she ties it on underneath. So that our ponytail hangs out, and then this little, this little flap here, hangs out. But this is a do rag. The nurses wear it. I've made a lot for nurses. So yeah. So this is um, one of her do rags. I'm not going to show you all of them because I want her to be surprised. But this is a do rag. This is what they're talking about. And if you watch Laura from Mad Mimi, farming and farming and growing or whatever her little her channel is. Mad Mimi Farming and something. But you can find her by putting Mad Mimi. Oops, got a little string hanging here. So got my new scissors. These are great scissors too. So I've made, um, I made her like five. Made these yesterday. Well, not all of them yesterday, but most of them. So, that goes to that, me. 
So there's the Durax, and they're 15. Um, okay, let's see what else. First of all, I'll show you um, a finished object. <laughs> I only got one. Mm. That's not true. I got lots of finished stuff. I mean, you'll, you'll see it. But let's show you this. I got commissioned to take the the um, the marble stuff to make a blanket. So here's the blanket. Isn't that cool? And then I put. I was gonna put a lighter blue, but you know what? I like this blue better, as you know. And then the marble. But I haven't washed it yet. I'm going to send it to um, the lady that, the crochet sister that um, asked for this. I hope you like it because I really do. And I had to put some uh, interfacing and stuff in it. But I'm going to have you wash it in the baby wash stuff. I'm not going to go out and buy that whatever you wash it, the baby stuff in. But it's all cotton. So, but it's a nice size. I think, I think it'll be nice. I, I like it really soften up even after I made it but well it's, <laughs> it's so big I was knocking stuff off of the table and it's still stuff on the floor from knocking it off but anyway so I finished that for you and then let's let me put that there and she also commissioned me to make a baby blanket well you know I'm not into so much traditional blankets but I found the, this pattern that I thought would be. It's called Primrose Baby Blanket Pattern by Deborah O'Leary Patterns. Of course, it's not in color, but see the, the work on it? It's easy. It's easy peasy. You could just, you know, it's just real easy. So, make sure I get the here it is. It's in blue. Isn't that pretty? Now what I did, you can see the pattern. See the pattern in there? Very easy. So what I did, I did it entirely different than what, well, not different, but I used different yarn. I used, or I'm using, Fashion Soft in this cobalt, cobalt, Cobalt. I can't pronounce it. What's wrong with my mouth? C O B A L T. You know what that means. It's this color. And then I had this. And this is that uh, Great Berry uh, Unforgettable Waves. Put these two together. And oh, I just, I love this. This is what came out. Now. When I do the when I do the border, I'm going to put two of this color together for the border. So that sets it that'll set that pretty color, this pretty color really nicely. So and I thought it would go great with this. See, with the blues and everything. Cuz she commissioned both of these. So, that's what I've been and I was thinking, well, maybe I should just, um, oh shoot, excuse me, <clears throat> things are falling on the floor again. Maybe I should just frog it, and then I'm not. And, okay, because I, I started it the first time, and I used a J hook, and it was it was rolling on me like crazy, like crazy. And I forgot it. It's it's bulky. It's not one of these little thin baby ones. I thought this would be a nice winter one. I hope she likes it. So anyway, so I had to change to a K hook, and it's a lot better. It's it's just it's turning out so pretty, and it's got the front post on this side, and it's just plain on that side. So that's the blanket I got going. But I need a favor from you. If you don't mind. I think I'm going to need at least one more of these. And it's 
um, Grape Berry Unforgettable Waves. If anybody has this color or this at home, I just, I think one or two would do. One or two would do. And I'll pay you for it. But if you have this, I would, if you would email me, and my email address is underneath, I would really appreciate it. I have gone through every, everywhere looking for this. And it's um, unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. Now, I don't know if they don't make this because I know they got new ones, but I'll repeat it. It's Unforgettable Waves. It's got waves under. I know there's Unforgettable, but this has got the waves. And I remember when they were s selling these, and it's called Grape Berry. But if you have it, and if, if, if I could buy two of them from you, I really appreciate it. I think I'm going, I'm running, I might run short, but I would like it make, if this is, this is two. So see, if I had, I'll have this one. And then if I had one more, I think that would be wide enough. So, and, and whether I, maybe another one, just in case I want to put it with the board. I don't know. I, I always wait till the end to decide what I'm going to do. But if anybody's got this, I really would appreciate it. Let me know. Send me an email and we'll work something out. And I'll send you I'll send you the money for it because I really would appreciate it. If I have to make it sm smaller, I will and I'll make a larger border. I mean, I had that in my mind. But if I don't have to, I it would be nice. Thank you very much in advance. Mm. So thirsty. Okay, progress on my other pill. I have not I have not added this week's color. But here's the one. See the yellow was added. So it's coming along. Now this this one, the color next in this one is um, Force Green. It's another, uh, I think it's Force Green. Is it Force Green? Yeah, Force Green, I think, is the next is the next color, which is a little different than the dark. It's like a, a lighter color, lighter green. And then the original one that I did is this one. And the color that's going to be next is going to be um, burgundy. Burgundy is the next color on this one. So they're coming along. I almost thought, you know, if I had the if I had the time, maybe I'd just put numbers and draw them myself. <laughs> so I could just keep going. But no, I'm going to, I started it with Nan. Now I'm going to keep it, I'm going to try to keep it together. So I got that going. Um, what else did I show you? Okay. Then I have, all my little yo-yos are made. As you can see, see my little yo-yos? And these will be, sewn together like this. It's going to be four across and four or five down. And I think. And um, then I have to sew them onto the fabric. So, yeah. So, this I hope to uh, start working on. I, um, I, I really want to get, get this done. Okay, so we got that going. That's on it. Everything's falling on the floor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and show you the Dammit dolls that are available. And then, and then you, if you want, and I'll say this one more time. If you want a Dammit doll, email me. My email address is below. And there'll be twenty dollars each, and um, I mail them right away. If if you guys uh, invoice you, and then when you pay, then I then I mail them. And so my email address and everything is full. <laughs> Listen, you wouldn't believe the strings and the fabric all through the house. It's just a mess. But anyway, I've got a plan for that. So let me show you the Dammit dolls, and then I'll show you some other stuff. Oh! Uh. All 
right. I made some. Here, I'll put them over here. So you can sit that way. I don't have to. Let me see. Okay, the first one is Miss Ladybug. This is Miss Ladybug. There's her little hairdo. Isn't she cute? So that's Miss Ladybug. And she's got her little saying on. And I did make, I did make, um, and I'll show you which one I made for my doctor's daughter. She sent a lovely little note to me. So um, I sent her a doll for her own. So this is Miss Ladybug. This is and can be either Mr. America or Miss America. And I thought with the, uh, I have lots of this uh, fabric, and I thought, well, this is with 4th of July and Memorial Day coming up. This is a good doll to have. So here. And I just gave him a little shag just in case you want to want him to be a little boy. He could be a little boy or he could be a little girl. So this is Miss, Miss or Mr. America. And this one um, I had made for someone, but they didn't follow through. This is Miss Wino. Remember Miss Wino? There she is. And the wine, the wine bottles are here. And there's one right in the middle. Well, she's got some wine bottles on this side too. So that's Miss Wino. And here's Miss Flamingo. Wait a minute, is she, that's the right side. Okay. Here's her long little pink hair. Isn't she cute? And these are little pink flamingos, the material that um, Dory sent me. Isn't that cute? But I wanted her to have pink hair to go with the pink flamingo. So that's Miss Flamingo. And this is one of my favorite. Whoops. Miss Lucky Lady. Look at her. It says Lucky Lady here, and we got her here. And then this is her butt. <laughs> See, she's got her butt, and there's the skull right there. That's on the back, and this is the front. So this is Miss Lucky Lady, and then I love her face, and I got that right on her face. So, but isn't she, and I don't know how I did that, but look, I got the cards, one on each side, matching. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I, there's some things <coughs> I do on purpose. It's like, I try to, like on this one, I try to get the, the pattern so it fits, the body part fits right on something that you, that will, sh that will um, stand out like I did on this girl. So this, this lucky lady. And then we have Miss Shell. Miss Shell is full of shells, blue for the water. So this is Miss Shell. Whoops, she's full of shells. I'll turn around this way so you can see her. Beautiful shells. Isn't that pretty? I had bought this material for someone that wanted a, a shell doll and so I sent her the shell doll, and I put blonde hair with it to match her hair. But anyway, this is Michelle, and I like the blue hair. And then I have Miss Yellow Spool and Miss Red Spool. I have two of these. One, she's got her hair. Is, I love her hair. I love doing the hair. That's my favorite part. But you see how I got it all knotted up like that? Isn't that cute? So that's Miss Red Spool and Miss Yellow Spool. But see the yellow and the scissors are in, in this one. So I got two Miss Spools. That's the back. Let me tell you, these things take a lot of that fiber stuff. And I guess because I pack them really really hard because they're supposed to be banged. So you want to you want to have them. So that. And here we go, Miss Indian. There she is with her little braids. 
and this is her back side. I love this fabric. I've already made one for some for a special request and mailed it to them. But I put what I did is I made um, longer braids, made longer braids on that and and tied them down. But yeah, I just love this. And I tried to get, see, I put that on the front. So this emblem here. But yeah, I loved her. I love her. She's so pretty. And I used the wine color uh, for her hair on the ones with the braids. And then I have, this has got uh, the cow and um, says milk. All kinds of stuff on it. But anyway, this is Miss Cow. This is that fabric that someone sent me. And uh, I play, I don't know why I put that here. I should put this in the back. So you can see. Da, 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 da. See, I put the cow right here. Cow's in the balloon. That's the other side. So that's Miss Cow. Then I have Miss Blossom. She's all peachy. I think this is, um, these are uh, like cherry blossoms. This is this side. See, they're like cherry blossoms. Aren't you cute? So that's Miss Blossom. And then I still have the um, purple purple um, batik. Now this could be a guy. So that's Miss Purple. Okay, let's put, get these back. This is quite a few, huh? I like doing these at night because I don't have to think. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. It's like a nice having something um, uh, to do. Something that you could do at night that you don't have to think about the stitches and all that good stuff. America, Miss Ladybug, and I, I, I haven't finished her yet, but um, this is Miss Beach. I had this from last year, and I said, well, it's summertime, so I thought I'd do. I've got, I've got two of those that I'm going to be doing. I just have to put hair on her. This I have to stuff. And then I got another one of the pink flamingo ones. I haven't stuffed her too. So, but I love the beach one. And you can see on this side, see there's the, the um, umbrellas and the flip flops. And this is the one uh, that I made and I sent to uh, my doctor's daughter. But you see, look at the sky with the seagulls. There's umbrellas across her face. Yeah, so those, those three I haven't finished yet. So yeah, so that's where we are on the Damn It Dolls. All my finished, unfinished stuff. Now I wanna share with you, and I have a mystery. I have a mystery. So pay attention. All right. This is my happy mail, mail that I got. <laughs> I get so excited with the mail. But I have a mystery, I have a mystery gift. And I want y'all to tell me what it is. It's a little bag and it came from China. And no, 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 I can't read. It's made in China. I have no idea what it is. Um, no idea, but here they are, and I thought, well, maybe this goes on, like, if you're, uh, knitting, you know, as a, a progress or marker, but then I thought, no, these things are hanging down. I don't know what they're for. That's the only thing I could think that they'd be for, but if anybody knows what these are, are you, for use for, please email me or put a comment. 
let me know what in the world these are. I must be very naive because I have no idea except thinking that it would go on, you know, like a a knitting to you know to that kind of thing to to be as a marker. But I don't know I don't understand. Well these well and then these have got little grooves at the end. I have no idea what they're for. So please let me know if you know what they are or who they were from. Because I don't know. I don't know. That's my mystery gift. And it's a mystery because I don't know what it is. Okay. Next, I got a packet. Oh, yeah, I've opened these. You think I'm going to sit all week with these on there? They're from Donna. The buyer's name is Donna. I don't know which Donna it is. Um, but I love it. It was so nice. I just got a packing slip here, an order. It was a custom order. And I don't have, I don't have one of these. Let me take this little sticker off. It says the smell would disappear within two days. It doesn't smell. I'll put that on there. It must be from the right. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. With the flamingo. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Donna. So now I have something to put my thing on. I love it. I just love it. Thank you so much, Donna. I love it. I love it. It's very colorful. I just love it. Oh, put that in the trash. Then I got a card. It says thinking of you, and look at the little Indian girl with the little kitty cat in the box, in the mailbox, and the little dog. That's so cute. And this is from Priscilla. She said she loves her damn it doll. Send in a few eggs for Mimi. She, she cracks me up. She cracks me up too. Priscilla. And she sent me, now I haven't, she sent me some jelly bird bees for my poop and chicken. Two of those. And she sent me some Reese's Pieces eggs. Put those on the floor. She did send me another little bag of chocolate eggs, but I ate those. You think I was going to wait all week and not and not have those? It was just a few, so I just... Ooh, look, these are Reese's Pieces. Mmm. Oh, that's good. And... Easter Solar Bobble. Well, let's get... Let's get this little sucker open. Woo! I don't know what it does. Oh, let's see what the back says. This is not a toy for decorations only. Sensitive to light and light-driven product. For best report, do not place this product on metal or magnetic surfaces. It's a solar bobble. So I guess if, when it gets the sun, at it. It bobbles. And I get a lot of sun in here. I do. Look at this. This is so cute. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put it up here on my windowsill. And I get lots of light in there. <laughs> okay. Start moving. I guess I don't have to do anything. That is so cool. 
not for children. Oh, this piece of paper there. Why don't I take the whole? No, that's not. That's the thing. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. Poor little Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. I don't know how long that'll last. <laughs> and I got pooping. I got poop for my for my kids. Over there. Thank you so much, Priscilla. That's so much fun. Man, I can't wait till tomorrow. When the sun the sun comes here in the morning, and that thing I just want to watch. I want, oh, and and uh, Rosie's been coming in here because she knocked over my water glass, and I know it scared her. But anyway, she comes in and she sits in this window. So I'll leave the little bopper there. Let's see how long that takes her to figure it out. What that thing is. Mm -hmm. And then I got a nice card from Z. It says thanks. And she sent me look at this. Yarn is life. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. I think they're stickers. Are they stickers? I bet they're stickers. I cut my nails last night, so I can't stand long nails. They were so long they hurt. My nails, when they grow a certain length, you know, they start sticking out. They start sticking out. Above the, you know, the mounting. They get real tender and sore. She sent me these. Yarn is life. I know where I'm going to put those. You shouldn't have done that, D. And she sent me... Ooh, ooh. She sent me this. It says Starbucks. City of Lost... City of Angels. Look at that. The movie. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Los Angeles. I was there once for about three weeks. I was in Torrance. You know where Torrance is, V? I was in Torrance. Uh, let's see. I don't know how this works. It must come up. Oh, maybe it screws. <laughs> oh, some belts in here. What the heck? What the hey? I think there's something else in here, too. Different language, not my language. If it was Spanish, oh, it must be in Spanish. Uh, insulated. Oh, it's a drinkware. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Well, that holds a lot. But how how does this work? Does that click up? I don't have any strength. Oh, it does. It clicks up. And you drink. Look at that. Oh, I love the screw idea. <laughs> A little play on words. <laughs> I love the screw work. I love the screw work. That's pretty cool. I like that. Instead of just pressing it on. And I've got a little silver straw that I can stick in there. Oh, I love it. Dee, thank you so much. Oh, let me see. Might be just plain old. Nope, nope, something in here. Oh, look what I got. Yarn is life keychain. Oh, D. What in the world are you? And I got a pen. Yarn is life pen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, D, that is so sweet. My goodness, I feel like a queen here. Thank you so much with all my yarn. Yarn is life. I have to read, read up on my little cup. And it, it should hold a lot. Ooh. And look, she sent me some. She 
get me some stickers? Mermaid, it's all about you. I see, it's all about you. Fun, surprise, love, cool. Take your time. Oh, look at this. Love, kiss me, love, be believe, dream, love. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that little. Oh, oh isn't that? Aren't they pretty? Oh, thank you so much, Dee. That was very, very kind of you. And um, I'm just glad I could help. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. A keychain. I got keychains. I love it. I'm sorry. I got y'all. We're still here. <laughs> Ooh, look at all my goodies. Oh, it was so great. Is there any more goodies? No, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, whew, I'm hot. Let's see, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I need to, oh, let me look at my list. <laughs> uh, my baby blankets, coin, oh, coin purses. I do have a few, but I think you've seen them all. I'll show those to you next time. Bags, I've been making, oh, I wanted to show you this one. I made this already. It's for somebody, but I wanted to show you. That's the one with the princesses on it. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just loved it. And I put the pink, the pink lining in it. See? I love making this. It was so pretty. That that I was saying. All the other bag I made all those other bags and they have all uh, been mailed. Whoops, whoops. Yarn is life just fell on the floor. I gotta get that. I'll get it. So that is for somebody. And everything else is packed up to show you. Let me get my keychain. Or I might forget. Ooh. Thank you so much. I love this. I love, 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 love this. And I love my. Thank you, Donna, for my, um, my mouse pad. It's beautiful. I didn't have a mouse pad. Look at me. Now i got a mouse pad. I can just shoot all around. Oh, I did, um, and I'm going to try to make it. I just, I have, I have all this extra fabric that I want to, um, that I want to, um, make, uh, some, something like a bag from the scraps and stuff. And, um, I'm not very good with a rotary. A rota, rota cutter. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if I, my hand hands are not strong enough to push down on that, and I can't cut it. And then I, you know, I have the ruler and everything, but to cut it straight. But I might be able to use it for just straight pieces. But you know, usually I'm old school. I like I'm like Deb. I'm old school. I like having the scissors, and then. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I do. I print all my orders out. I know that I can go to the computer and see them, but I want to have it in my hand because I go from here to the cutting room, so I like to have it right there so I know what I'm working on and what I've done to it. Uh, have I invoiced it? Has it been paid? Do I need to mail it? So I have everything there on that piece of paper. So it's old school. I keep everything old school. And that's... That's great. Now, where was my story going? Um, I forgot where I was going with this story. And I'm sweating like a pig. Anyway, I saw on a, um, it wasn't Ella. It was um, one of the other ladies that was making some bags. And, um, I saw that she used, um, oh, and Randy, Let's see Randy, Randy had, Randy, Ra Rambling Randy and Ooh R Crochet Amber had a, um, a live thing where they were selling, um, some stuff and I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, some of it's going to the reservation, some of it's going for hat, 
pet, not hate. Um, some of them might go in a giveaway, but I did buy some stuff. But anyway, I saw where, where they were using this, this, um, these for, for, uh, handles. So I got black and I got this natural color and it's cotton. And so I thought, I didn't think I could work with vinyl or whatever that nylon stuff is. So I thought I'd work with cotton and it's easier to wash and everything, throw in the wash. So, and plus it would be easy to double over and sew, I think. We'll see. So anyway, so I got this and black and, um, restart tonight. I'm getting where they want to restart. Don't change. Okay. So anyway, this, I'm going to try, I want to try some bags and see how that works with that. I'm not, and not any that you guys order. I'll make some first and then if you want it, fine. But, um, ah, I'm going to see how it works out. I'll give it a try. You know me. I'll try anything. But if it was me, I'd, especially in the bigger bags, I would we could try a handle. And also, someone sent me, and I just found them in a box. And I think it was my girlfriend, my daughter. And the person that I was watching um, used these, these snap things. And they like, you know, go, anyway, so anyway, see, these snaps, so I thought I would try them, and if I like them, um, I have tried, I did have uh, the stamps where you have to put a little hole in the fabric, and but I, I couldn't get it to work, I think it's because of my hands, so something simple like this might work, so anyway, so I found those in one of the boxes, and I'm going to give it a try, that and the cotton, uh, the cotton thing, and we'll see. We'll see how it how it turns out. But I'm up for trying something new. Um, always for that. And I want to ask you: have, Has Easter gone and come, or is it coming soon? I got some stuff to make for Easter, and I don't know where I am. And I want to get. Oh, this is for my. I want to get my baby blanket finished. Which I think I might be able to get that if I could, if I get some of these, and uh, might get that finished. So that'll be great because then I'll, that'll finish up that, and it might be wide enough once I finish this. I had three of these, but there's not that many yards in it. It's only 119 yards, and I haven't even. This is only one ball of this, one ball. I think yeah. The only ball, and this has got like, and it's a three, and it's got, um, it's got yards, oh, 381 yards in this. So, really, if this is 100 and 100, so it would take three balls for one of these. Billy, you're so stupid, you didn't, I didn't figure this out earlier. So really that's, 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 you know, between the dolls and the blankets and the blankets and the yo-yo bags, the blankets and my do-rags, I'm doing pretty daggone girl, good. So I love my little, I love my Los Angeles bank. This is so cool. Woohoo! Fancy, fancy. When I go to the doctors, I usually carry one. Usually, I just carry like a cup like this. See how it's shaped and it just fits right into the cup holder. Well, now I can take this with me because it's the same size. Look at that, the bottom of it. Cool. You couldn't have done any better, Z. This is wonderful. I love it. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign off, and if anybody knows what these little clamps are for, I would really would appreciate it. It must be for something. 
I mean, I just don't think, I don't know. And they grip here. I don't know, it's a mystery. We have a mystery. Y'all probably have already, once you see this, I probably have emails of Yin Yang. You dummy, you know what those are. Well, in my personal life, nothing really exciting. Um, I guess I told you about my visit with Betty and David. Um, I'm going to try to get up there again probably this coming week. Um, got to pick up my meds. They One med they put back in because I hadn't gone up there. I just So hopefully I'll go up there tomorrow. I need a haircut, so I'm going to go and see call and see if Amy's going to be in tomorrow. I don't care. I just need it cut. It's just driving me crazy. As you can see, I can't. It's just too long. Look at that. It's just too long. And then it, this stuff, look at that. Look at all the, the curls and stuff in the back. The curls up here. You know, the curls come out. The longer it gets, the curls come out and I can't do anything with it. So I got to get that taken care of. Um, I haven't started cleaning yet, and, but I will, I've got to, so I just want to get a bunch of stuff out of the way, and then, um, I'll start working on the house. I have done, you know, we've getting those boxes out, that made some room, so now if things are, you know, looking up. My neighbor Penny, um, she has this overhead thing. It just sits right on top of the table and has these little cubby holes in it. Well, who needs cubby holes? Silly. Where I could put the stuff in there, especially the mailing stuff, stuff that I use, you know, when I'm, when I'm, um, just stuff. It needs, I need something where I could put stuff instead of having to go 15 places to get them. Like my bags, I got them on a roller over there. But, you know, just to kind of get everything organized. Now, it is going to block my window. And then I thought, maybe I should move, move my table over against this wall and then set it up. And then, but then I have to move all this stuff. Well, well, not too much. And I don't feel like doing that. Plus, I don't want to face the wall. I enjoy looking out because I have the woods right here. Because the um, the uh, Mayaka um, Creek, a river, runs right, you know, on the other side of this. So someday we'll take a walk back there, and I'll I'll show it to you. <laughs> just just don't stop breathing, waiting for it. Okay. Don't hold your breath. We'll see. Well, I took you on that one trip over to the pond, remember? Didn't I, did I ever, did I ever post that? I might not have, but I did do a video showing you guys the, the pond where the alligator lives and stuff. But, you know, you don't see much anymore. People don't move out. I haven't got my shots yet. I'm waiting for, I did print out my, um, my form. I got that all filled out and ready. So that when somewhere local, I'm not driving, I'm not going to go stand in line somewhere. Even if you make an appointment, you still have to stand in line until your appointment is due. So I'm not doing that. But I was waiting for like uh, CVS or Walgreens or someplace like that has it. So I could just make an appointment and go in. So I'm, I checked Walgreens. They haven't started yet. My Walgreens. Hmm. Poor, poor fingers. Oh, and you know what? From then, I'm crocheting after crocheting all these years. I have this. I don't know if y'all can. Can you see this right here? It's a callus. From there, it is. You can see it there. From from crocheting all these years. Look at that. And sometimes it flames up when I crochet too much. So yeah, they're kind of sore. Yesterday, I was taking that CBD oil. You think I was taking a bath in it? I put it on my hands, 
My knees have been bothering me and I've been putting them on my knees. I know I have artificial knees, but you still have problems with your knees. I don't care what anybody says. They're not 100%. They're like knees, knees, you know. You know, the nerves and everything run through there. Okay, that's all I got to say, man. I can't think of anything else. That's my big life. Y'all keep me busy, and that's important, and I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. Um, it, ma it makes me feel needed. Um, it gives joy to my life. And what the heck? What else have I got to do? I mean, some days I don't feel good, and I'll just lay back, and I'll get a book. I'll, t I'll sleep all day. I mean, that's I, I go with what my body tells me to do. I don't fight it anymore. I don't watch the news anymore. So that keeps me, uh, keeps my blood pressure down. I think that was what was, I think what was causing my blood pressure to go up. Number one was the Gator, Gatorade. Number two was just the stress that was going on. I sh and, and, and I don't watch the news anymore. I don't care anymore. Nothing I can do about any of it. So if I can't, if I can't, if I don't have a solution for what all this that's going on in our world, then I just have to sit back and let somebody else do it. So I don't worry about that anymore. So now I just relax and uh, go with the pain, go with the flow. If I feel like sewing, I sew, crochet, crochet. So I'm going to do some crocheting today. I have uh, one go-to bag to make and get my blankets finished for um, Claire. And then um, and pay my bills. i got to pay my bills. I only have a couple. I know. I am so excited. I am so excited. All I have, look at me, look at me talking about my business here. But all I have left is, you know, I had a big, uh, like $2,000, a little over $2,000 uh, for my knee surgery that insurance didn't cover. Well, I only owe 400 and I'm going to pay all of that this, this month. And then uh, when I get, I haven't gotten my um, stimulus bill uh, payment yet. They haven't got to the M's yet. So when I get that, uh, I'm going to buy a washing machine. Yes, I am. It's a GE. I've already measured. And the lady down the hall, Pat, she got one. And I wash. And it's big. I mean, it's it's a nice size. And it fits right into where the, the stackable, you know, should go. So I had one of those in my condo for 20 years when I lived there. I bought it when I bought the house. And it was a good GE. I mean, it lasts me. And I, I used it for everything. So um, I'm going to, um, that's what I'm going to do. And I think what I do, and eventually I was thinking about buying a new bed. But I do love my bed. It's comfy and, you know, it's not, but I was going to buy a smaller bed. You know, I have a king size. I was going to go to a queen size. But we'll think about that next year. But right now I want to get, I got everything paid. And then I want to pay off my cremation. <laughs> I know, isn't that terrible to think about? Here, I, look at this. I'm just talking away. But it's something you have to think about when you get when you get in your late 60s. I'm in my late 60s now. And um, it's time. It's time to, to, oh, I don't want to leave this on my brother, you know. So there's a place right down the street. Like I told you, all I have to do is roll me down the street. And <laughs> they don't even have to pay to pick for me to be picked up. They can just roll me down. And it's downhill all the way. <laughs> ah, and I'm not doing services and all that stuff. What do I, why do I want to spend money for stuff like I don't have? Who would show up? Maybe my sister might show up, but that I don't want to put her to <laughs> trouble to drive down here. Oh, gosh. Oh, my brother. My brother would show up, I'm sure. Because he'd have he's the executive of my will, so he'd have to, you know, take care of stuff. 
Ah, uh, you got to think, baby. You got to think. But I want to get my washing machine first. That's more important than the cremation. <laughs> All right. I don't. I didn't mean to put this on a down note. I just think it was funny. I think it's funny. Guys, you know, you just never know. <laughs> Listen, I'll say goodbye to you guys. I'll see you next week. You know me. I think I just heard somebody at my door. I think it might be another delivery. Sometimes those, um, oh, well, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to shut up. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys um, next week. Take care. Love you. Bye.